Hey everyone, it's Jeff, and today we've got possibly three of the biggest 4K Blu-ray releases of the entire format's existence finally in my hands. Today we're going to be talking about the three new James Cameron movies that just came out on 4K. We've got The Abyss, we've got True Lies, and we've got aliens. I'm going to cover each of them for video quality. We're going to talk about the remastering process on these, which is really interesting and is definitely going to divide people on these releases. We'll talk a little bit about the history of these and why they're so important to this format and then kind of just give you a recommendation like are these going to be worth buying or are you better off maybe with your old Blu-ray or DVD copies? So to start, let's talk a little bit of history on these three. Um, Aliens has been widely available on Blu-ray. It's been part of alien box sets and that's mostly because it's been part of a franchise but this is the first time ever on 4k the other two however have been notoriously hard to get on an hd format they have been streaming in hd and the digital 4k releases came out a few months ago but the abyss never had an official blu-ray release so this is the first time it's on any hd physical format and it's first time on 4k of course and true lies was the same way there was a spanish kind of bootleg version of the blu-ray but neither the abyss or true lies ever had an official united states blu-ray release and so the best you could ever do on these was either getting an hd stream or watching an old DVD or Laserdisc copy. So it's super exciting to have all of these because James Cameron films are perfect for 4K. They're big movies, they're shot really well, they have a director behind them who you know knows what he's doing, and they're also three incredibly great movies. Aliens might be the best sequel of all time, maybe only behind Terminator 2, which Cameron also did. The Abyss is an incredible movie. True Lies is so underrated. One of the best 90s action movies out there. And it's great to see that all three of these are now finally getting to shine on 4K. But the big question is, do they really shine on 4K? And I think this is where people are going to be really divided and honestly, I'm not even 100% sure how I feel myself after watching them. So when it comes to the remastering of these discs, James Cameron was heavily, heavily involved, much like he is with all of his projects. And it's why they took so long to come to disc, but it's also why you're gonna see some kind of odd changes. All three of these have definitely gone through some sort of AI, DNR, um, kind of smoothing, modernization, uh, and there's some software potentially, you know, James Cameron's used it. Uh, Peter Jackson used it for like the Beatles Get Back documentary. They're working on this sort of software that like takes older footage and tries to make it look brand new. And the results vary. Some people hate it. Some people don't mind it. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's bad. And it's all over the place with these three releases. But ultimately, it's James Cameron's decision. He's one of the biggest filmmakers in Hollywood, certainly is printing money for Disney over there with the Avatar sequels and all the work he's doing in that world. And, you know, I'd consider him at this point to be essentially a George Lucas or a Steven Spielberg type. And much like George Lucas, if he wants to make changes like Lucas did to Star Wars, it's probably going to piss off a lot of fans, myself included. But ultimately, we don't really have a choice. They own the property if they want to make the changes they make the changes whether we like it or not. What Disney has done with these discs is they've been very faithful to what James Cameron asked for and these changes are Cameron's. Disney put out great 4K discs here. They're great transfers of what they were given. So they didn't make these decisions. They didn't decide to do this. This is not a case of like, you know, Pirates of the Caribbean or something where I wasn't really happy with the transfer. This is purely James Cameron making decisions and Disney following through on his vision and executing his vision really well. Now, of these three, I would say The Abyss is probably my favorite visual upgrade. It does have some of that weird AI, uncanny valley, waxy stuff going on. Um, definitely some DNR has been applied, which is really just like, you know, scrubbing some of the grain. It's digital noise reduction. But it looks the best of the three, and it's clearly leaps and bounds ahead of an old DVD or Laserdisc copy. Uh, the movie looks amazing. It looks incredible. I mean, it looks modern. Maybe not what you'd expect from a film from 1989, um, but that's this new vision Cameron has. So this was my favorite. I liked the way that this came out. It could have been better, 
but I think it's pretty solid. Then next up, I'd have to go with Aliens. Um, this one bugged me a little bit more because I had seen what Alien 1979 looked like on 4K when Fox did that themselves. Obviously that not being a James Cameron movie, the grain in that is really tight. It looks beautiful. It's one of the best 4K discs. It looks like a film print. It has the grain. It's really, really well defined on 4K and it's incredibly detailed. And that gets scrubbed out here a little bit for a really smooth, modern looking image. And I would have preferred that it have a little bit of that grittier feel that Aliens has had in the past and that I think makes sense for a movie like Aliens. So this one was scrubbed up a little bit. Is it the worst thing I've ever seen? No, but is it the best thing I've ever seen? No, but also Disney did what they could do with it. Uh, the execution was great. It looks incredible. It's a great transfer. Um, but what they were given by Cameron is honestly not my favorite. And then we get to True Lies, which again has not been available since the days of DVD on physical media. So yes, this looks better than that. It's a great upgrade. But this was the most egregious of the three when it came to that smoothing, modernization, waxy look that they kind of filtered on top of the image. For whatever reason, they went overboard with this. I wouldn't call it necessarily Terminator too bad, where that 4K disc is pretty rough and pretty waxy, but it's close. I mean, some of it almost looks like just bad CGI, um, when in reality they could have had some really nice detailed images with what they had as a source, right? They could have just had the grain and had it look like a film from the 90s, but Cameron's just obsessed with making his stuff look like it was made today, which I think is maybe okay for the abyss in a way. It works sometimes for aliens. It really doesn't work great for True Lies. So True Lies, being that you can only get it on DVD, you know, yeah, I think that this is worthy of an upgrade and, and all of these are worthy of buying, but it's definitely going to be a different experience. It's an enhanced experience. It's different. It's like the Star Wars special editions. And, you know, which I can watch now and I can enjoy. And it's still, you know, Star Wars for me. But I also keep those original unaltered, you know, VHS tapes because those have a special spot for me. So, like, if you buy these, they're great upgrades and they're really well worth having. But you may want to hang on to your laser disc or DVD of the abyss. You might want to hang on to your Blu-ray of aliens. You might want to hang on to the DVD copy of true lies. Or if you have that Spanish release, you know, that's probably a little bit closer to what you remember seeing back in the day. In addition to the visual upgrade, you do get Dolby Atmos on all three of these. So that's a nice, nice audio upgrade. Um, they're all really great. You know, there wasn't a whole lot of tinkering with that. They would have sounded great probably on a 5.1, giving them Atmos, especially True Lies, to me, big standout, tons of big moments, but you know, The Abyss has a lot of subtlety in its sound and is really cool in its sound design. Aliens, very much the same way. The Atmos enhances all of that, so that's great. And they're all packed with features, like The Abyss has both the theatrical version and the special edition. It's got a bonus disc with more special features. Aliens has the theatrical version and the special edition with the uh, extra 17 minutes. It also has a bonus disc. And then True Lies has a bonus feature disc as well with documentaries and behind the scenes and things like that. So, um, you know, they're really great releases considering that what we had of these movies before was pretty bare bones. So I think it's a case of like, you can't really judge these against what was previously available because they're all essentially a, a, a brand new movie in a way. It's sort of like that, uh, the philosophy, I, I forget what it is, but like if you take a boat apart and every piece is eventually replaced, um, is it still the same boat or is it a new boat? And it's like if you take true lies and you drastically alter you know, every scene and every image with this new technology, is it still True Lies or is it like True Lies 2.0? I think it's an interesting question. I think it's an interesting debate that we could have. So I guess my recommendation is be cautious, know what you're getting into. And if it's going to bother you, if you're a super purist, then maybe these aren't the releases for you. Maybe you'd be happier with the DVD, but these are obviously 
enhanced versions. These are the best version of all three of these movies that you can own. They have every edition, special edition, theatrical. It has everything you'd want. It has bonus features. It's got new artwork. They're really good releases and Disney executed well on the 4K transfer and definitely executed well on the Dolby Atmos, which is something that, you know, they kind of are iffy on. And I should mention the Dolby Vision as well, which is something Disney doesn't typically do, but obviously James Cameron had the pull to make that happen. So they're great discs. They're the best I've seen these three movies look. It's gonna come down to what your personal preference is. If you want the absolute best technological experience, these are them. But if you want authenticity and you want grittiness, and you want what you remember from when these films came out, I don't know, maybe these aren't the ones for you. It's a very, very complicated decision, and there's no point in even really putting up direct comparisons on YouTube and trying to show you that. Um, I showed some examples, but you know, compression and everything else, you're not gonna be able to really tell until you see it in front of you. So I'm happy they came out. I love that Cameron did this. I love that Disney finally did this. These have been rumored and talked about for years and years and years. We finally have them. Like. We have these, we own them, they're on physical media, they're restored in a high definition, like, that's great, but, you know, are are they still the same? Big question. Now, one cool thing I wanna do for you guys if you watch this long into the video, each of these came with a digital code, but I already had the digital releases from when they came out a few months ago, so I don't need those codes. I wanna give them away to you, so maybe you guys can check them out, maybe you only want the digital release, that'll save you a few bucks, but you'll be able to experience them all in 4K, at least on a digital platform. If you wanna win those three copies, I'm gonna pick one winner who will take home all three. All you have to do is head to the video description, there's a link in there, or to the pinned comment, there'll also be a link there. It's a quick little form, signs you up for my email list, and if you enter into this form right now, you're entered in for a chance to win all three of these movies on digital 4K. So thank you all for watching, hope you enjoyed this breakdown, this review, hope it was helpful. Um, you know, I am really torn. I am really torn on these. Um, I, I love that we have them, I love that they exist, but they probably could have been done better. And that's what kind of, that's what bums me out a little bit. Not on Disney's side, but like, mm, James Cameron, you probably could have done better, but still very thankful and grateful that they exist. So if you want more videos like this, make sure you're subscribed here on YouTube for all the latest in movies, home entertainment, movie collecting, physical media, I've got you covered. And also make sure to follow me on social media. All those links are in the description as well as right here. You can scan the QR code if you're on a TV, take your camera out, scan that code, it'll give you all my links. So thanks again for watching, have a great rest of your day, stay safe, stay healthy out there, and I'll talk to you all soon.